السلام علیکم جی اعجاز سر پریزیڈنٹ سی او قلعہ پاکستان آئی ہیو اے کافی وتھ سی ای او سیشن اٹ از اے بیسکلی از اے سروس بائی سی او قلعہ پاکستان فار دا ینگسٹرس موٹیویشن اینڈ اسپیشلی دا اسٹوریز آف دا آنٹرپرینورس ٹوڈے وی ہیو اے ویری انسپائرنگ سکسیس اسٹوری بائی ون اینڈ اونلی مسٹر گوہر گوہر بیسکلی از اے پاکستانی بائی اوریجن ناؤ از لیونگ ان پورٹوگیز اینڈ از ون آف دا ویری گروئنگ اکانمی آف دا یوروپ اینڈ ہی آلسو اسٹارٹیڈ از a startup the name in smile in pakistan of growing to the europe and just exporting its aligners invisibles to the whole europe and even to the usa and the canada as well so this is a really a success story recently last year he got ipo of n smile very few startups they jump to the ipo level and they create their resources so uh, gohar is really a, a different guy uh, who are seeking to coming to europe just by driving the uber so he just started his own company is well and he knows that the uh, nuts and bolts of the establishing the company now please welcome gohar gohar sir thank you very thank much thank you very much ajaz bhai for having me here and for coming to portugal for our facility it's uh, wonderful that uh, we are here. gohar we are really proud of you very few pakistani they come to pa- out of pakistan just they are seeking uh, just work jobs in the grocery shops and uh, what is the success journey you can share with us with our listeners and people who can uh, the young people who can get inspiration from your success story just in a nutshell what are the pain points and what are the challenges and what are the pride point for in smile how to go hmm. so first of all i guess uh, it's been a pride for pakistan that uh, as you have mentioned that many pakistanis that uh, or many youngsters that when they leave pakistan so they have this vision in their mind that they would go to the uk or in europe and they would find any job and mostly they think of finding odd jobs you know they leave that country in order to drive uber and they have all those connections and ultimately they end up driver uh, being a driver for their whole lives and you know it is a culture or it is the image that we have of pakistan in europe or in america alhamdulillah i have been lucky that uh, since start i had this vision that i would be going to uh, the global market and not be doing job there and we would be forming our company there and not just one company we would be the biggest biggest producers of whatever we would be making and inshallah inshallah right now i'm 30 but my plan is that within the next 10 years uh, we would be the biggest biggest producers of invisible braces in europe and uh, not just that so we our aim is or particularly my aim is to bring back that image of pakistan that bad image in order to have uh, the same image that indians and those uh, countries have made in their eyes of uh, the european and american countries so i guess uh, as many startups ijaz bhai i started off uh, as a very uh, small startup back in 2019 25th december to be exact and it was started off from my room i used to make aligners in my single room with my wife and you know i had the support of my father and my mother obviously but it was a very small startup and no nobody you know believed in that project uh, back then you know 4 years back that maybe it would become that big company so i used to cut the aligners at night time and in the morning i used to do the marketing and sales and it was a single man uh, company wow god have been really really kind that just in 2 years time we were a public limited company in pakistan Excellent. and uh, now from a single room company we have employees more than 400 working for us we have operations in more than 22 countries we have our own office by the name of nsmile gmbh in germany hamburg we have our office in nsmile uh, uh, in chicago by the name of nsmile americas in uae and we have alhamdulillah two factories of our own that is produced that are producing aligners one, one is in pakistan and one we have launched now in portugal and uh, one more thing that we are the only only factory that is producing aligners in portugal as of now and uh, there are just two total factories in whole europe that is uh, in this technology as of now so we are very lucky that uh, that we are not just an aligner uh, factory but we are a pakistani aligner factory which is uh, you know producing in portugal and exporting to many countries so alhamdulillah alhamdulillah <laughs> that is a little journey of us gor mashallah you are a very enterprising and very inspiring success journey but every success story has a pain points 
what were the key two three challenges a pakistani especially company the coming to the europe is a very difficult entry even people uh, are dying for getting the visas what were the pains and what the challenges you faced financial human resource and legal challenges you faced and you became successful hmm. i guess the first point that many pakistanis if i talk in general so uh, visas or leaving pakistan is a problem from pakistan and many people try to find the ways which are uh, mostly unconventional and try to find some illegal ways as well but if like for me and which i would like to motivate all the young people that please please visa is never a problem and if you have a business plan then there are many many countries around the globe including portugal netherlands and denmark and you know like scandinavian countries they are allowing and they want the youngsters to come into their country if they have a good idea if you have any good idea and if you think that you can conceptualize that idea and bring into execution then you just need to write on their portal i can help you with that i can help of the uh, sab with the, you know in order to help those youngsters if they want to start here so visa is never a problem you can apply for a visa and then for us a little bit problem was that we had a very big setup in pakistan and we had all the clientele base in pakistan so for me it was a little bit of problem of leaving pakistan setup and forming this company in portugal because i was living a very good life there and everything was settled there so for me it was little kind of a cultural shock which i had okay for me but for my company i guess if i talk about my company so it has a better you know image now that we are a european company now and we are purely a german company and a portuguese factory so as of the Im- as of the image is concerned of pakistan and our company so it is good but for my personal kind of thing i guess uh, something i have lost in this transition of coming to portugal in the shape of that luxuries that i was having in pakistan so but obviously we would be seeing some good things uh, in the in the future as well down the road a uh, with uh, very important question i uh, just asking about the success journey of uh, in smile where do you see the next 5 year trajectory of uh, in smile uh, in pakistan as well as in the europe and the whole globe where do you do you see 5 years down the road yeah so 5 years uh, plan of and smile which is very clear in our head is to become the biggest producers of aligners around the globe not just in europe and we are striving and we are working for that our team which is in porto which is in germany which is in pakistan that is in america so we all are driving towards ourselves towards uh, becoming the biggest aligner company around the globe right now we are producing and we are producing for many brands around the globe but our vision is to have another factory in america by uh, 2025 maximum and in the next 5 years we would be capturing the whole global market from america american factory from european factory from asian factory in pakistan and then you know like that factory would be developing the business in uh, well far east market as well so uh, for n smile or as far as n smile is concerned so number 1 we would be becoming the biggest factory of aligners number 2 we would be incorporating some fields of ai into this dental market in which we would be getting some patents and those patents would be revolutionizing the initial or upcoming industry of dental and ai market so that we are working on right now and we have some things on our you know like uh, feather and we would be launching on or we would be uh, showing uh, our people a little bit more that what we would be bringing on to the market so that is a little bit aim that we have for the next 5 years thank you uh, gohar is a really inspiring story now now the rapid fire the few short questions uh, uh, what do you define ke because you are an entrepreneur by mashallah four years just you are young 30 years uh, you should be on the forbes 30 under 30 list uh, like i'm sure but you will be the ceo today my question is what is entrepreneurship to you what are the key competence because people are seeking job hmm. i and, and from this interview from this talk people will learn rather than job creator rather than job seeker hmm. so what is the secret of job uh, creator and uh, entrepreneurship three competences to be an entrepreneur Mm-hmm. I guess entrepreneurships uh, or entrepreneurship words come from the mindset you know like uh, you have to have that mindset that you need to start your own thing so this is and this comes in that school time you know it is not something which you develop afterwards 
if you go into that deep you know hole of doing job and you know like seeking that uh, thing so you would always end up getting promoted in that way and you would never you know start or take risk so number one thing that once you have decided that you would be doing business then number one advice which i tell to every youngster that start early do not wait for the perfect time start as early as you can and uh, you would reach somewhere and you would you know like uh, you would not lose any time by starting early because you have already gained those years that other people have not you know gained then uh, one other thing that uh, once you are in that job so try to find out the new innovations and the problems that you see in the market and try to find out some new business ideas out of those problems always seek you know like uh, let's say you have uh, you have a problem in your home like you see like this is a problem so try to find some business ideas that how you could develop one persona or one misconception that ijaz bhai people have uh, uh, in pakistan particularly that they think like if they do not have the money then they would not be able to start the business that is something which is a very common question that we ask or we hear in pakistan so to me money is never a problem if you have a good idea good you know like a product good idea especially the idea and a way a business plan that how you would be executing that idea then you would find many helps many people many investors many venture capitalists who would be taking on your idea like america has done with silicon valley and you would be you know booming in your business steve jobs bill gates they did not have a single money in their pocket they were dropouts but still they managed to become the billionaires just by their simple idea so guys and we have many pakistanis who are living in the states who are living in europe who did not have any money and they are right now billionaires or i would say multi billionaires just by their simple idea even you know little you know kind of a more thing i would drag that this idea of invisible braces it was invented by a pakistani guy so i feel pride in that thing like this idea of aligners and this company which is now invisalign or align technology which is one of the biggest companies in america for dental so it was started by a pakistani with no money in america so you know it they had and it's a different discussion that we would be having some other day that they had some government support as well but idea is the key that i uh, one liner answer now what is leadership leadership i guess to take your team along and uh, excel in that way your difficult decision in life difficult decision is life to start little bit late i think i was little late in starting the business i should have been more early okay what is your idea of happiness to me right now it is family to me idea of happiness or how i become happy is my family even if i think of them i become happy your recipe of success three key words phrases i guess number 1 decisions uh, rapid decisions early decisions number 2 is to go global always think global never think local and number 3 uh, networking and relationships i guess it, these are the three things that would take you to success to me zabardast any book you love to read because it really impacted your life because see you read Uh, 50 books in a year so what are your favorite two three books yeah so uh, the book which i guess everybody loves is uh, rich dad poor dad i have uh, listened to and i have read that book many times and uh, then there is another book uh, which i would be remembering the name but it is tuesdays with morris so you know it is a book which you should be reading or you all should be re- reading because then you would be connected with your end as well little bit that eventually we all have to die so you know we should be little bit grounded to earth as well that we need to do something for the final or final purpose as well so tuesday is with mori i guess that is something which my I'm favorite like. one of beautiful yeah. book uh your stress management lot of people because the startups have stress hmm. and anxieties lot of business stress lot of other family life balance stress because you have to travel a lot how do you manage for me i manage stress by meeting my friends so right now for me i have many friends and i talk to them i you know swear at them i talk dirty with them so you know like for me my stress management are, is my friends 
and uh, then traveling. So, you know, I manage my stress, but obviously I am still trying to find uh, ways how to manage my stress little more because as your business would grow, so your stress level would grow and you know, like it is something that you always need to seek advice from professionals like yourself, Ajaz Bhai. Zabardas, your role model, your inspiration, mashallah, you are young inspiration for others. For me, my first inf inspiration for my life was my father because if it was not for my father, then I would not be here. So, you know, I owe my life to my father. And uh, so I guess for me as a small kid, as a big kid now, so my inspiration is my father and I always look up to him. He's really proud of you, I, I know. Uh, last uh, uh, two questions. What is uh, especially the opportunities you find Pakistani people, uh, they want to do the businesses and either they study and they're either for jobs or well, what advice would you give them how to be in entering for this right way in the job? Mm -hmm. I guess uh, for them, they need to be connected uh, with the world. And uh, right now, the advice that I'd like to give them is that uh, time is very short and you are competing with the giants. Don't compare yourself with Pakistanis, compare yourself with the other people that are out there, other countries, and just keep yourself updated with the technology and the things. Always read news, always read Business Insider, some news, stop or limitize your TikTok and social media things and try to learn some things from that what is happening in the world. And that in your subconscious mind would be giving you ideas and giving you strength that how or what you would be doing after two, three years. So, so that is, I guess, that uh, keep yourself updated with the news and with the technology globally, not just Pakistan. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, any message of Pakistan people right now, because you are originally from Pakistan, what are the, the key message of optimism? Because people are very uh, nowadays disappointed about Pakistan. So what is the message of being an entrepreneur, young uh, startup, the message of hope and optimism for the young people in Pakistan? Uh, Pakistan to me, like uh, I still tell to my, you know, like uh, European friends that uh, when I will retire, I will go back to Pakistan and even now my majority part of my business is in Pakistan. So Pakistan is one of the biggest or the best countries for doing business, but one liner. So, you know, get the clients abroad do or you know like outsource from pakistan just like you know all the uh, you know like countries our neighboring countries are doing i'll say an example uh, that i should not but india so you know like all the force or all the business is happening in india but they are earning in dollars so for pakistan we really need foreign currency so do not leave pakistan establish some kind of business strategy in which you would be earning business from abroad but bringing back money and you know having this outsourcing unit in Pakistan. So, you know, your economy should grow likewise. Any, before closing, any motivational quotation, poetry piece of line close to your heart and share any? I am very bad with the poetry. So, that or is any something quotation, which is… Or any quotation, your life, uh, life quotation, Ijaz, this yeah, so, inspire me a lot. So, one line which, you know, many people quote that they uh, say this or, you know, there is a guy, uh, Ratan Tata, who says like, I have said this quote and people quote him with that, but it was not his, it was Kaid Azam's quote. So, you know, which is like, uh, you do not take a wrong decision, you take a decision and then you make it right. So it is, I guess, what we should be following as well, that uh, no decision is wrong. So, you know, first you take a decision and then you try to make it right your way. So, you know, like, uh, so just one liner that no decision of yours that you have taken is wrong. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Gohar, a really time. honor to talk to you. Last few uh, key lines we just key takeaways from this uh, uh, very deep conversation with the Gohar, the CEO of Smile. The first thing is you, you should have the global vision. For the young people, either a message, either the experience, uh, he's talking about a global vision and then global opportunities and then the localized solutions and to earn in dollars, think in terms of dollars and uh, how to connect with the world. This is your, your social media and other areas. Lot of opportunities, millions of opportunities. You just find, you have to find the problem and the niche and then you should develop your business model. 
you can make millions and millions not for yourself but your country as well so this is a big opportunities ye un logon ke liye hai jinko samajhte hain ki pakistan mein opportunities nahi hai to ye ek mera pakistani bhai baitha hai jisne apni fortune ki banayi aur 400 logon ko jobs create ki to please be a job creator rather than a job seeker zara nam ho to ye matti badi zarhez hai saki तो इसको जरूर देखिएगा इन स्माइल के पेज पे भी और सीईओ क्लब और इजाज नसार के पेज पे भी और अपने कमेंट्स दीजिएगा नेक्स्ट टाइम इजाजत को इजाजत दें अल्लाह हाफिज